Hey you guys, what's going on? Hunter here from VW World. A few of you requested a video wanting to see the interior a little bit better on an SEL Premium R-Line, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start off here in the back and then we'll move up towards the front a little bit and just overall see, uh, see everything that the interior has to offer on these. So I have the key on me, so with the Kessie system, we're gonna just, for fun, use the foot activation rear lift gate. So as you can see back here, of course, no third row in this one, but behind the second row here, we have a total of 37.6 cubic feet of space. With those second row folded down, all in all, we'd have a total of 73.5 cubic feet of space in this Tiguan. This is an R-Line, so just like the SE R-Line, we'll have the black headliner up top. I think, personally, it looks very sharp. Matches the rest of the interior. And then, of course, we have our folding seats, which we can do from up front, or we can do from the sides right here on the back. So, as you can see, we'll pull that, and that second row folds down nicely. This has all the gear and goodies in it from the monster mats, the roadside assistance, and again, the cargo blocks return. So these stick to the cargo mat here, so you can block in your groceries so things don't roll around. Again, with the cargo mat, you can do a couple things with it. It has a spill lip in here, so if things get wet, you can take it out, hose it off. It's rubber underneath, so you can also kneel on it on the ground. Below here is gonna be our fender system, spare tire, and our luggage hider, which kind of conveniently hides down here. And uh, again, being the SL Premium, this is gonna be the only one with that fender eight speaker system where on the other take ones, it's the six speaker sound system. But let's move to the front. We'll close it this way. You can also close it by kicking, but we'll save that for another video. Let's just take, keep taking a look on the inside door panel here. This is kind of a plastic and then a nice leather material. Cool stitching on here. And this is kind of a wrap leather too. And uh, this plastic is very smooth. A very cool looking door panel. We do have a cup holder hidden right in here conveniently. And the outside of the seat here, we have a little cubby that you can put stuff in. And then more plastic down below the black carpet. And then this being the SEO Prima Marlin, we have our Vienna leather in both the front and the back where and the other ones would be the VTEX Leatherette, but the Vienna Leather is very nice, soft to the touch, has some cool kind of gray lines in here. There are your anchor points for your car seats, so you don't have to dig for them very much on this one. Up top, we have our center little armrest and cup holder. And then from here, you can recline the seat and then also fold it forward. And then when we put it back up, and then down below, right there, that is where we're gonna. All right, so there you can see the difference of this seat all the way forward, opposed to that one being all the way back. Quite a difference, but gives you a lot more space in the back here, if you're hauling something a little bit bigger. And then let's take a look, let's put it back. And then we'll recline it. So that is at full recline right there. See the difference it is actually very comfortable going down the road. Let's hop in here actually. So right here, of course, we do have our vents, a little cubby, 12 volt and USB. Interestingly enough on these 2020s, the S is the only model that will see the USB C's with the smaller screen. But let's take a look up top here at our panoramic sunroof. Definitely very cool. Has a slight tint to it. So it's nice when it's really sunny out, but still can see through it easily. It'll open to this halfway point right here when uh, you're just opening the roof or the screen, of course, goes across the whole thing, which we can do in a second when we get up to the front row. But I think that covers everything kind of in the second row here. All in all, 
can see. Now, see, I guess is a ways forward, but there is a lot of leg room there. Very comfortable with it reclined like it is. But let's keep on moving forward and get up to that first row and see what else it has to offer. So when we open the door here, we'll see the 10-way power seat, which other Tick One models have. But the thing that only the SEO Premium will have, of course, is the memory seat. So the other also 10-way power lumbar also have this entry light right here with our line kind of stamped in there. Looks pretty sharp, little skid pad. On the door here, we've got this kind of cool, it's not like quite carbon fiber look, but uh, it's a cool design on there. So a close look so you can really see what it looks like. That moves into the door handle, lock and lock. And our little speaker for fender for the sound system. Same kind of material in the back, the kind of stitch leather looks really sharp. Down below our one touch up and down windows on all four. These are gonna be your heated mirrors. And then to the far side is gonna be your power folding mirrors, which is unique to the SEL Premium R line. And down below another cup holder spot. So up front, you'll be seeing one, two, three, four cup holders. This is for the power rear lift gate. So you can open it if someone's running up to put something in your car. Taking a look down below, again being the R-Line, we'll see the uh, the different pedals here, which is unique to the R-Line. So you'll also see those on the SE R-Line package for 2020. Again, this one, the mats are all in the back with the monster mat system. Take a look up here, a little hidden compartment. Right here, auto lights. To have the fog lights on, you go over to the lights and pull out, then that would be your fog lights. I normally just keep it on auto. But coming up here to the vents, more nice looking high-end material. Everything's soft to the touch up here. It's not hard plastic or anything. And then again, these are considered a sport seat on the SEO Premium R-Line where on the other trim packages they're considered a comfort seat. So that's the difference you'll see on these. The Vienna leather feels very smooth and comfortable. But let's hop in here and take a closer look. So we have the R-Line stamped on the steering wheel there, the leather wrapped wheel. The stitching looks very nice on it. All the way around you have kind of the flat on the uh, steering wheel bottom. So again, it's easier to get your legs in and out of. Let's hop in and shut this door. There's our eight inch screen. We'll look at everything off and then we'll turn it on, see what all the lights look like. And our center console, but let's turn this on. We have the digital cockpit, of course. So we'll go down here, foot on the brake, hit the start button. Sure, we'll hit driver one. We'll take a look more at the technology in a second. Moving up top, first off, we have the seamless mirror. Has the direction in the mirror there. On the bottom, we have our home link system. So you'll see it kind of pop up there. Moving back a little bit, we have all our LED lights in the rear as well. So this is, so if we want all our lights on when the doors open and these, you can just turn the rear lights on and off as you please. This is for the screen. So let's get one solid good push. That's gonna activate the screen closing. If you hold it for too long, it'll just move a little and then stop when you take your finger off the button. But that is gonna be close. And then this is gonna be if you want to uh, actually open the sunroof. Moving back a little bit further, this is gonna be for our Carnet system. So you can download the app on your phone and do all the fun features, which is kind of hard to show you guys right now. Let's get this focused up a little bit. Moving across this whole dash, it's a very good look. Everything's easy to use. Top of our vents are hazard lights. 
airbags off since we don't have enough weight on it. Come down here to the screen, we're gonna exit out of that. We can play with it for here in just a second. It's similar, or basically the same, I guess, as last year. But if you haven't seen it, of course our radio is over here. AM, FM, Sirius. If you're on Sirius, you can go to channel list, kind of scroll through. All fun to do. Media, of course, this is where you're gonna have all your functions from CD, USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth. And uh, for the CD, again, you won't see it up top here. It's gonna be over, hidden right in here. Also our SD card readers, which you can also take one out of your camera, put it in and view pictures on here, which is fun to do or just store uh, thousands of songs on one. Also have your holders right over here. While we're in here, a uh, decent amount of room in that glove box. Nothing too big, nothing too small. So again, that's where you get to all your media, power on and off and volume. We'll go to phone. You don't have anything connected, but normally pop up here. Voice is basically all the commands you can do from your little voice command button right in here. Pardon? Nope, sorry, don't want to talk to you right now. Moving on, let's go over to navigation. Again, being the SEL Premium, you can have it on here. So there we see the screen. Let's hit the little map over button so it comes up in front of us. We'll go down, hit this view button, shrink those gauges. Now you get everything on there. So then you could hit the up and down right here, zoom in and out. Just like that. If you want a different look, you can hit view again and you can get this screen to come up. We'll hit it once again and we're back to the, our gauges. But if you want those gauges to look a little bit different, you can come over your screen, hit the car button. And from here, can actually go through these and you can see destination information this is going to be changing what your screen looks like up here so you can play with it lots of different views on here lots of different things to do app is going to be your apple carplay android auto and mirror link and that's merely just plugging into oh it's getting dark usb right down there i don't know if you can see it let's actually turn some lights on in here Still can't see it very good. But then we also have our wireless charging right down there. As soon as you put your foot down, it's hooked up for me both times. And then we have a hidden 12 volt right over there. And then menu is just gonna be a lot of uh, stuff on the side you'll see here, but all on the screen. But you'll also be able to get to travel link and everything from right here. So if you wanna see fuel prices and subscribe to travel link, you can see basically everything in here. And again, the proxy sensor is still there. So as soon as you'll see this menu disappear, as soon as your hand gets close, the menu pops up. It's always cool that it saves the screen for that, but also get to settings from here, images. We'll go back and get to your climate control as well. So you can see if I want to turn my heated steering wheel on, you can set the temperature. But if you, once you set that, you can always just do it from here as well. It'll pop up as soon as you hit the button down here on the screen. But that's also for the heated seat, just three level on each side. Basic climate control, dual climate on here. So again, you can see linked right now and now it's not easy enough down here of course our parking brake you'll hear a little uh, sound below when you take that off and put it on our start stop system you can turn it off and you'll get a start stop system deactivated on your screen when you hit that this is for your area view which is unique to the SEO premium again you can see all around us and while we're on this it's kind of fun you can select a certain side see right where you're at see all around the car and then while you're on the back here you can actually select what you want to see if you're hooking up a trailer if you have a hitch system on very easy to do but all in all the area of view is an awesome tool on the SEO premium R line and then the final thing right in here is 
our four motion control. So snow, we'll go to normal. And this is where our little screen will pop up for eco, normal, sport, and custom. Custom being which you can come up here, hit that adjust button and kind of set it how you like. So if you wanted that steering to be in sport, you can. And then when you come down here, you got your off-road and then just like that other one, you can go all the way to the far side and that's off-road custom where again, you can select what uh, you want to come up and how you want everything to feel. So you can really adjust how the system works. So that's a lot of fun. Coming back here to the steering wheel, this is all your cruise control system right here. So on off your autonomous cruise control. So the distance from the car part in front of you. And our lane assist is the orange icon there in the middle. So it will turn green when it senses those lines. Our volume controls right here and then track on the other bottom. And then this is basically all again for your screen right in here. You can go through all your different systems. We'll go to assist systems navigation but you can kind of just select what you want from here see all your settings as well but anyways overall guys if you guys have any questions on anything on interior on the 2020 tiguans just leave your thoughts or opinions or comments below and i'll make sure to get to them uh, also make sure you guys smash the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel and i'll uh, make sure to keep bringing you guys some more volkswagen videos all right guys thanks for watching until next time